everybody. It's Danny again coming to you live from the beautiful mountains of Northeast Pennsylvania. Today we're going to show you another fairly easy um, eighth note fill. <clears throat> and uh, if you watched any of my other videos, you know that I like to carry on and over explain and talk a lot. But uh, we're going to try and avoid that today. Um, so basically what we're going to do is uh, we're going to use three toms in this fill. But you can use your snare and two toms if, uh, if you don't have you know, as many toms as, as I do hanging around. Um, this fill is going to start on beat one. And uh, again, it's an eighth note fill, which is counted one and two and three and four and. So uh, if you're a, a beginner, remember to count aloud. Um, counting is good. So uh, we'll get right to this and I'll show you what's happening. Uh, normally, you'll see these fills being done um, boom, 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 boom. What we're going to do is we're going to do two beats on the first time, four on the second time, and the last two on the third time. It kind of breaks it up a little bit and sounds a little different. Um, and again, it, it you know it, whatever fits the music is what works. So uh, I'll show this to you slow, and you'll see what's going on, and then we'll speed it up a little bit so you get an idea of what it sounds like in a quicker tempo. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Basically it, and uh, when when you put that in, you know your your constant beat, and then add that fill, and then back to your beat, it actually sounds pretty cool. Um, so we'll speed it up just a little bit, so you can hear what it sounds like at a quicker tempo, and uh, and that'll about do it, I guess. to it. Um, any problems, questions, threats, anything, uh, you know how to get a hold of me. Thanks.